Brian Fox Sports next, here with the latest member of the Rutgers 2014 class, Jonathan Hellman. Um, Jonathan, you made the announcement a few minutes ago. You spoke with Coach Kyle Flood from Rutgers a few hours before that, I'm guessing. What was his reaction to this? It was it was a big reaction. I, I, I felt as though by the reaction that I, I'm a big priority. Uh, I pretty much heard the, the staff in Scarlet Night Nation, even some of the players, really, really ecstatic in the background. You know, they're jumping up and down, cheering, shaking my name. So, I mean, I really felt the love, and it's, I feel like it's going to be great. It's going to be a great four years. You went to a lot of places across the country checking out schools. You wind up, you're a Plainfield kid. You wind up going pretty close to home. What was it about just staying home? I just, uh, it's, it's, it's something about, you know, winning home. You know, something about, you know, because they say home is where the heart is. And Jersey is pretty much where my heart is. I feel like I, I still got unfinished business here. Um, after, you know, our team's successful enough to win a state championship, I, I plan on, you know, fighting and playing for a national championship when I go to Rutgers and, you know, just bringing back the, the you know, prominent football tradition in Jersey. Sheldon Royster, Keith Lumpkin, Savon Huggins, all St. Peter's prep guys down there. Any influence in the process? Did they help you? I don't say influence. Did they help you at all? They helped me a lot. They helped me a lot from the first day I stepped on campus. I mean, they, they pretty much took me under their wing. They, they saw in me a star player, and they saw in me that down the road I, I was going to be just like them, highly recruited guys. And, I, I mean, I'm eternally grateful for them and their advice that they've given me. They never pressured me to come to Rutgers. They just pretty much say, if it's for you, you can come. But if you come, I'll be happy. If you don't, I'm still going to, you know, be pulling for you. And that's just like, just how, you know, we are as, as you know, we're kind of like that prep family. I mean, they, they were great. They're great influences to me, and I, I'm really glad that I get to you know play with them for a couple more years. What does it feel like? I mean, you've been going through the recruiting process for a few years. It's over now, just like that. What is that like? It's it's a big weight. Uh, it, it's a blessing. I can't I can't be ungrateful about it. It's a blessing that I was able to be recruited by so many schools. Like, cause there's a lot of players out there that are doing probably better than I am and haven't even gotten a letter. So I'm definitely grateful for that. But uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing to finally, you know, commit to a school and now I can focus on having a great senior year in the classroom and having a great senior year on the football field and being a good leader to the guys throughout the school year. When was the first time you thought, yeah, you know what, I make, I'm, I think I could go to Rutgers? Um, once, the, once the top guys in the state started committing, I, I saw that, wow, that was really my only, only thing was, all right, could Rutgers get a strong recruiting class? Because everything else they had, the great academics, location, you know, great football, you know, great fan base, great place where I can, you know, family can come see me play, everybody can come see me play. Uh, that was the only real factor was can they can they step into this Big Ten and really make some early noise. I feel that this recruiting class that they have coming in, we're really going really gonna to shock the world, as they say. I know that you were down on campus, I think it was Saturday. Kai Hester was there, Saeed Blacknall was there and committed. Did they say anything to you to kind of... Push you there. Yeah, yeah, as soon as Saeed committed, I just felt like the pressure was on. <laughs> you know, I just knew that they, I knew that the phone calls were going to come, text messages were to come. But me, in my mind, I knew that I was going to Rutgers last before at, at that scrimmage. I knew, I just felt as though that this is the team, this is where I feel. I, I felt, you know, but I gave myself, you know, another week to sleep on it. You know, I, I really couldn't talk myself out of it. And I said, you know, this is where I really want to be. This is where my heart is, and, and that's why I chose to, you know, pull the trigger. All right, two last things. You practiced today before the announcement. Was it hard to keep your concentration? Even though you knew where you were going, you told the coaches, it's still getting the word out publicly is kind of the last step. Were you thinking it at all during practice? No, I, I wasn't thinking at all. I just I just pretty much took practice as I already committed. I just took practice as, you know, it's time to you know, focus and, and grind hard for that state championship. And I'm always, I, I knew that, you know, this is going to be great. It's going to be a good publicity for the team. It's a family barbecue. Everyone's seen you commit. It's a little nerve-wracking, you know, with the media <laughs> and stuff. But, I mean, I, I, I felt that I handled it well. And uh, I just felt that, you know, just to focus on practice and get one everything one step at a time. One thing I've learned about you is... You will have no trouble with the media. You're very comfortable with it. Um, last thing is, so who do you call now? I know when Kai Hester committed, he's calling people. Noah Brown's on his list. Um, I know Saeed Blacknall said he's calling Mike Jasicki. Who do you call? Me? <laughs> 
personally, I, I, it, may, it may sound like crazy, but I'm going, I'm coming after Peppers. I, I know, I know in the back of his mind that he's seen all this, and he's like, you know what? Maybe, you know, maybe Ruckus might be. And and I, I know that, you know, he's feeling that. I mean, we talked to him a few times. I know that, you know, in the back of his mind, he's thought about it. But he's he's pretty strong with his um, decision. But we'll, we'll see down the road. I mean, February's a long way away, so you know, we'll, we'll see if we can add another member, another great player in our class. Jonathan, thank you very much for the time and congratulations. No problem.